uh, gets you called there at the end with the squeeze. Just what do you see and why'd you call that? Uh, just have belief in our players. They can execute whatever we call. It's never a gamble if you can execute. And so Bryce in that situation or any of them in that situation, they can execute that or I have just as much confidence in them executing a, a swing to win that game. But just felt like that was the right decision at the time. Bryce obviously has a two-run home run earlier in the game. Just lays down the, the squeeze there at the end of the day. Yeah, just great day. Again, we talked about him yesterday, how much it help, has to help him in the lineup. Just again today, just how much did he help? Well, and he, he's just a, he's a presence, right? I mean, probably his, other than the fact that he was excellent on the squeeze, excellent on a home run, you know, we scored three runs. He was a part of all three of them with three RBIs on the day. And probably his best play was just the hustle play on the ball in the left field corner where he got very good relay um, from their left fielder, their shortstop, and threw him out at home um, on that. Probably best play that he had was is he, he didn't take a swing um, after the contact at the plate because, you know, Bryce is a pretty competitive guy. And then, in football, you probably have uh, swings right there. You know, that's probably what you do on the football field. You can't do it on the baseball field. He had a great amount of poise in that situation. Um, it was a good, hard baseball play. Loved it. I thought their catcher and their, their relay guy, the shortstop, uh, White, that threw the ball to the plate. Tremendous play. I thought it was just a good, hard, clean baseball play that didn't work out the Ducks' way. And, and instead of Bryce um, getting emotional about it in a negative way, he, he kept his poise to where we could see his excellence there at the end of the ballgame. I thought that was probably um, of his of the excellent things he did. I, I thought that was right up there with him as well. On that play specifically, uh, comfortable with the send? I know it's two outs. You're good, good. That was a good send, do you think, from Hinkle? Yeah, it, was, it, it took a great relay throw. And so you, you pressure uh, the opponent when you can, especially with two outs. Loved it. What do you think of Grayson today? It's two straight starts for you guys, and you know, holding them to just one run from your starter. Just what do you think of his performance? Really good, gutsy, tough day too. You know, it's raining for the majority of his start. It didn't stop raining until he basically came out of the game, and Mikey came in. I thought Mike Friend was fantastic in in relief of Grayson. I thought we'd get another quality start out of Grayson, which is good. Um, you know, and then after Mikey did what he did, then Brad came in, and I thought he did a tremendous job as well. He had the one one check swing uh, deal that went down the opposite field line and just rolled inside the third base bag. I mean, that's just bad luck in baseball. And and Brad made really, really big pitches uh, the, the rest of the time. He ended up getting that double play ball there. Uh, was a big double play ball at the end. I was going to ask about Mullen, just what does it mean that you know, for your confidence level to have him just go back to back days and leave him in there for the final uh, two and a half innings? He just, he's a stud. He's old. He's been through it. Like he, he's he's had good days and bad days. It, it doesn't phase him when he has a negative thing happen. He's just under control. He's an old guy, and with a young group, having an old guy with good relaxed eyes is really important. You guys have won you know, first two games of this series. How do you feel like you guys can continue this momentum going into Sunday? Well, just play good baseball. You know what we saw the last two days is very good pitching by both sides, um, and with good pitching, it's it's tough to score a lot of runs. You saw good defensive plays. Um, and we've just played good baseball. You know, we've we've executed when we've need to, um, and and it, for me, I just I think that in order to sweep, you just need to show up and play good baseball tomorrow, and and hopefully the chips fall in our favor. The the Chase Megger's double that kind of ignited that ninth inning there. Just sure. what did you see from him, and, and you know, what was that conversation like with you? And just just telling him to go up there. The Chase is a stud. He's a tough, tough kid, and he doesn't have a bunch of at bats right now for us. But boy, is the kid a really, really good player and a good hitter. Um, you know, to have Anson get hit by that pitch and show toughness there, for Mason to get uh, brought off the bench and, and do the running at that time. Um, for Arrows, he'd go in, even if the game was tied, he'd go in for defense there for Arrows, probably in that spot. So it was ideal, and we are playing a faster runner in that situation. Um, and then for Chase to slam that ball in the right field corner, uh, just looked old. Again, an old looking at bat for a kid that doesn't have a bunch of at bats. I was proud of that. What do you think of Arizona started today? This is what he did. Candy Audi's really good. I mean, you know, their their pitching overall is outstanding. You know, and and their their three star. They got another guy going tomorrow that's really really exceptional. You know, they've got potentially the the three three of the the best starters in the league for sure. Um, I don't know if they're the three best, but their starting rotation would be amongst the league's best. And so we're going to need to be our our best tomorrow to be able to win. What do you want to see from Cider to, to kind of replicate these guys' performances for Friday and Saturday? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, he's a different kind of pitcher than the first two guys that we throw out there. And so obviously what we want to see is great tempo. Uh, we want to see him pounding the strike zone. Uh, we want to see him controlling his emotions, which usually he can do. But, you know, it's Pac-12 stuff, and, and boy, the emotions can get running high because it's it's just so competitive. It's such a, a good, good conference with great teams. And, um, you know, when – 
when a team uh, like Arizona, who's got a storied program, and 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 yet they come in and. I mean, their starting pitchers are as good as you've seen. You know, 93 to 96 mile an hour Candy Audi today with an with an outstanding couple of breaking balls that he has. You know, you really got to kind of just chip away at it, and and we did. We we chipped away, and we were able to get the hit by pitch there late, a double, and then execute a simple skill there at the end. It seems simple uh, when you execute it well, but I mean, even the PFP that the the pitcher executed at the end was outstanding. It just was a tick late at the plate.